Hi friends, in olden days when there were no courts, who were giving the judgment? Of course it was the village head. And a village head, if he did not get proper evidence and all, he needed to think in different angles and should give the judgment. Based on that, we have one more interesting story. Let us know the story. Once lived a priest. He had no children. He wanted to go on a pilgrimage. And he saved 300 rupees. And he needed only 200 rupees. Rest 100 rupees. He put it in the form of coins in a pot and sealed it. Then he went to a set and gave it to him and asked him, You please uh, save it with you and we are going on pilgrimage. When we come back, we will take it back. And he said so. And then the set agreed. Set means a uh, businessman. He agreed. Those were the days and there were no means of transport. So he, he and his wife had to go on foot. Then said thought, of course, he would not come back. He can't come back. It would take very long time to come back. Meanwhile, he may die also. In case if he comes back, I will play a trick. Thinking so, what did he do? He removed the seal and took out all the coins. And in that place, if he filled the pot with some stones and then again sealed it. Later, the priest came back and went home. After taking that seal, he found it was full of stones. Then he realized how he was treated by the saint. At first, the priest went to that businessman. Here is the conversation went on between the saint and the priest. Sedji, how could you cheat me in this way? What do you mean? asked the saint. I saved 100 rupees coins in this pot. Ah, I gave the same pot sealed. How do I know what you put in that? Perhaps you had taken it back and want to collect some more 100 rupees from me, right? As the said. Some people in the village were in favor of the priest and some were talking in favor of the businessman. Let this problem be settled by our village head. He thought. Then he went to the village head uh, to get judgment. Now let's listen to the conversation among the village head, the priest, the set, and other people who assembled there. Seeing the priest, the village head said, Namaste priest ji, any help you need from me? Yes ji. I need justice. Then village said, What happened? I was cheated by a set. He narrated everything had happened. Set was also called for. Then village said, turning towards the set and asked, Did this priest give a sealed pot containing 100 rupees? Then set replied, Yes, sir. He gave a seal pot to take it back after arrival from pilgrims. I gave him back as it was. How do I know what was there inside? Someone in the crowd said, Sir, we know about this priest. He is very honest. He performs puja in temple and be satisfied with whatever dakshin we give. He is very pious. He doesn't need to tell a lie. Then some others said, Sir, this set has a lot of property. What can he do with the hundred rupees of the priest? He doesn't need to cheat a priest. How can the village head give judgment without proper evidence? So, he postponed the judgment to the next day. That night, village head discussed this matter to his wife. His daughter who was standing beside him whispered something into his ears. He was pleased by her suggestion. I never thought that you could give me such a clever suggestion, my dear daughter. I will surely implement it tomorrow, said the village head. The next day, both the priest and set assembled there with their wives. Then village head said, I will give you these four baskets. 
you four have to place them on your heads go to the durga temple and come back don't try to open these baskets you will be watched by my men whoever tries to put it on the ground and open it will be considered a cheat four baskets were kept on the heads of the priest his wife said and his wife they were moving forward then four of them were talking while going towards durga temple in low voice then said's wife said i know that the priest kept 100 rupees in that pot and sealed though i want not to cheat the priest in this way you took that money and filled it with stones then said turning towards his wife angrily and said you shut your mouth there is no evidence that i had taken his money this case will be closed don't worry let us bear this burden for some time the priest and his wife were going together priest wife said we both know that we were cheated by the priest but how can we show the evidence let us leave this matter then priest said i trusted the saint and gave money i thought he would hand it over to me safely i wouldn't have given him if i knew that he could cheat us in this way we have strong faith on our durga mata let us leave that matter to her judgment all four of them went towards durga's temple and came back with those heavy baskets on their heads with the permission of the head they put the baskets down baskets were opened and four kids got down from the baskets each with a notebook and a pen the village head said i know that you four would talk about this matter while moving with these baskets i told these kids to note down whatever you say i know you don't open your mouths if you are aware of the presence of the kids that is why i told you not to open these baskets now your conversation reveals who the culprit was he read the content which each child had written thus he proved the cheat was the set in front of all others the cheat accepted his guilt and said that he would return the priest money back village head didn't accept for that and he said no just returning 100 rupees is not sufficient as you had cheated the priest you have to pay 100 rupees more as penalty he further turned to others and said do you know who gave this suggestion to me it's my daughter saying so he turned towards his daughter proudly let's come with some other interesting topic in our next video till then bye